I think the most amazing statistic I've come across in recent years in the academic arena was the one that told me that there were now more people studying criminology at an undergraduate level in this country than there were people studying sociology. I'm half of me wanted to celebrate because I suppose most of my writing has been done in the area of the sociology of, of, of crime and deviance. I mean, my first book was a little textbook called Deviance in Society and then later on when I did work with Stan Cohen on prison psychological survival and we wrote books about secrecy in prisons, prison secrets and so on. So I suppose it was my area and I certainly took plenty of courses in the sociology of deviance. I mean I could even probably now almost resuscitate all these and give you an hour's lecture on the Chicago School without much difficulty because I did it so many times in the past. But I'm a little bit sad. I'm a little bit sad because some criminology can be, to my mind, too small scale. It doesn't take aboard some of the major theoretical arguments which have gone on in sociology. It can be a little bit incestuous, a little bit self-serving, a little bit with one author responding to another author and they respond in turn to a third author without recognising there's a wider world of social science out there. I suppose one might say that the appetite for criminology, like the appetite for archaeology and the uh, aptitude or the interest in astronomy, has been fueled by particular television programmes. I think the number of people studying forensic science uh, is now so great that people are wondering if there are going to be enough murders to go around for all these new forensic scientists to investigate. I'm now a little bit concerned about where all these criminologists are going to find work, uh, which relates directly to their concern with crime and deviance. But you can't forecast academic areas, and provided people are interested, and they go there because they are interested, and provided their interest continues throughout the course, I don't really mind enormously what the name of the course is. Undergraduate courses are there to excite and stimulate and exercise the intellects of students. And I don't really mind if a course is called Descartian epistemology or sociology and deviance in a North Tyneside suburb, provided it does something to shake up the assumptions of those people who are sitting in the seminars and lectures on that course. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.